Good afternoon. Can everyone hear me okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, how, how about some slides? The, the first slide is a depiction of a creature. A creature so frightening that sailors were said to be driven mad by the mere sight of it. <laughs> abba, abba. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's wrong. Jeez, I used to take lunch money from guys like this. <laughs> I don't understand it. I just tuned this thing up this morning. Um, it looks like a rotor shot. I'm gonna have to pull a spare from one of the trucks. Can I? No toque nada. I'll be right back. Hey, what'd you do? Well, you know, the boiler in this baby is a Humac model P54 stroke A13. Now, we've got the A14 back at the museum. The heating cores on the whole Humac line have always been a little, you know, temperamental, so sometimes you gotta boom or sway them a little. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Shut up. Two for flinching. You know, we've been pretty tough on the kid. What do you say we cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Milo, why don't you come sit with us? Really? You don't mind? Nah, park it here. I never got to meet your grandfather. What was he like? Where'd he start? He was like a father to me, really. My parents died when I was a little kid, and he took me in. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was just thinking. One time when I, when I was eight, we were hiking along the stream, and I saw something shining in the water. It was a genuine arrowhead. Well, you'd think I'd found a lost civilization the way Grandpa carried on about it. It wasn't until I was older that I realized that the arrowhead was just some compressed shale mixed with zinc pyrite that had fractured into an isosceletic triangulate. <laughs> that is so cute. Say, Audrey, I, no, no offense, but how did a teenager become the chief mechanic of a multi-million dollar expedition? Well, I took this job when my dad retired. But the funny thing was, he always wanted sons, right? One to run his machine shop, and the other to be middleweight boxing champion. But he got my sister and me instead. So, wh what happened to your sister? She's 24 and 0 with a shot at the title next month. Anyway, I'm saving up so my papi and I can open another shop. Good man, Thatch. Thanks for volunteering. Go get him, Figer. Audrey is sweet, but she is not your doctor. Congratulations, Audrey. Guess you and your dad will be able to open up that second garage after all. Let's move, people. That was an order, not a suggestion. Let's go! Where are you going? I'm going after Rourke. Milo, that's crazy. I didn't say it was the smart thing, but it is the right thing. <sighs> Come on, we better make sure he doesn't hurt himself. Milo, what do you think you're doing? Just follow my lead. It's simple. All you gotta do. Yeah, 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 shut up. We get it, okay? No, no, wait! <laughs> Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna come in low and fast and take him by surprise. Well, I've got news for you, Milo. Rourke is never surprised and he's got a lot of guns. Great, well, do you have any suggestions? Oh, smokes! You told me he only had guns! What I said was he's never surprised. You gotta get her back or the whole city will die. And if we don't get out of here, we'll die. It's the only way to reverse this. Just do it! We're really gonna miss you, Milo. Mwah. Ah, two for flinching. See ya, Milo. Eh, Milo! Audrey, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> Just making sure you aren't making a mess of things down here. Come hey. here. That, two for flinching. Where's Milo and Kira? I didn't see them launch. Milo, are you there? Kira? Think of my back while I look for Milo. 
Milo. This is Milo. We're on backup batteries, sinking fast, no propulsion. We have a major leak. Leaks! Leaks! And the viewport is cracking. Excavalus valves aren't locked. You can flush the water by rerouting the pressure tubes of... Audrey, we are up to our rear ends in water. It's no time for how-to books. Okay, okay, we're coming. Jeez. Well, you better hurry, cuz... We're about to hit an undersea mountain! <laughs> that is not a mountain. Audrey! Whoa. That's your subpod. That's not coming out of my paycheck. Okay, let's get to shore as soon as we can. What's the matter, Vinny? Afraid to play patty cake with the sea monster? <laughs> you know, I don't mind a little patty cake, but I really don't want to be here when the bombs on that subpod hit bottom. Ah! Audrey! I'm okay! <sighs> Now, be careful, Milo. I'm climbing down to you, Audrey. Stay where you are. And here I was, all set to take a walk. <gasps> Audrey, keep talking to me. I said thank you very much for leading us off a cliff. <sighs> I, I can't reach. <sighs> I'll have to jump. Uh, don't jump. I'll climb down. There's no room. I have to jump. Audrey, I'm the team leader, and I order you not to jump. Oh, that's it! See? Oh, this is just great! The infix has got a 33rd tolerance that's been blown and the combustion valves need a new ring slip! I didn't quite get all that. I build these engines from scratch! I fend off lava dogs who eat the distributor caps! Oh. And nobody told me I would have to deal with dust storm coyotes! If they got sand in the manifold, I quit! Did you get it all that time? Every word.